Madam Deputy Speaker, I am the adult son of an alcoholic, and since I lost my father to a lifelong struggle with alcohol five years ago, I have sought to campaign for those in my home city of Birmingham who are self-medicating trauma with drugs and with alcohol. And the reality is that what we see on our streets is that the safety net in this country, the social insurance system of which we were once proud, has now so comprehensively collapsed that the holes in that safety net are so big that anyone now hit by a twist of fate without family to help them will fall straight through and hit the pavement, where they are now dying in my region on average every 10 days. That is why I say to this House today that the subject of this debate is a moral emergency. And that is why the response we need from Her Majesty's Government is an awful lot stronger than what we heard today. In cities like mine in Birmingham, we may have cranes in the sky, but we have homeless people dying in the doorways. This in the second city of the fifth richest country on earth is not a morally acceptable situation. So I could tell the House, Madam Deputy Speaker, a barrage of statistics. I'll come on to Walsall in a minute. I, will give this house a, I could give this House this afternoon a barrage of statistics about how rough sleeping in my city is up 1,000% since 2010, about how the number of homeless children has now tripled, about how we now have a crisis of overcrowding. One in five homes in inner city Birmingham and the black country are now overcrowded. But I don't want to talk about statistics, I want to talk about a story. The story of a man I met in an underpass next to New Street Station when I was out on a Sunday morning last year with an amazing team of people called out Angels. There was a man lying on the floor in acute distress, a double amputee, next to his wheelchair, in an underpass that stank of urine. He'd been there for three days, and he was still dressed in his hospital gown with a hospital tag on his wrist. It took us nearly two hours to get that man an ambulance. How on earth, how on earth have we come to this? 